Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my Vagabond Style. And I'm going to work in my alphabet journal again. This is part two. And I got a little organized since I saw you guys last. I found this little um, organizer and I put in for every letter. Some of them have two letters inside because there wasn't 26 slots, but um, they're pretty organized now. So I should be able to uh, find my images a little easier that I've set aside for this. So let's uh, get started. I also put out some vintage wallpaper that I thought would be fun to put in some of the backgrounds. So I've got that handy. Uh, this one for A, I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe get A completely done. So oh, where is my blue pages? Here they are. Let me move this aside. But I got a pretty good response from the alphabet journal. I mean, I know it's a glue book. I know it's nothing new, but it's just kind of fun to see people's take on it and, you know, what, what we come up with. If you're liking this, please go ahead and uh, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. I try to answer all my comments that I get. Having a smaller channel, that is the benefit that I can keep up with it because, you know, there's not that many comments. <laughs> but. All right, let's put this angel on here. I think about there. I don't know if you can hear in the background, there's some Mexican music playing. There's some workers next door and they're very happy workers. Like I love that about them. They're just, you sometimes hear them laughing as they work, cracking each other up. So we're actually getting a little closer to shutting it down here for us in Mexico for this season. We'll be heading back at the end of October to spend some time in Arizona. Let's see, where do we want the artichoke and the arrow? I think I want the arrow like going to the next page. Put that there. And then I might have room for one more item. Let me use glitter glue on this paper here. In case you didn't know to turn the page, right? <laughs> okay, maybe something else will go there, but for now I think I like the artichoke kind of overlapping. And then we'll go to a different page. I just had all of this A stuff kind of loose. Here we go. Now let's let's do some on E. You know what? I'm gonna try to find a clip. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if this will work. Yeah, that's better. There's my table bump. <laughs> Always happens. Okay, let's see. What do I want in the background here? So we've got this Eagle, Empire State Building, which I know I'm gonna have to move that E. We've got some eggs and an elephant. Let's just see what we're gonna do about this Empire State Building. I'm gonna move it over just a hair. So we'll cut this off. And we might have to cut just a little bit off the top a little bit off the bottom. Okay. 
Let me move this E. Perhaps. I gotta figure out where this key hole is going. Maybe kind of right across from it. Just about get them in there. some super groovy flowers. I do rather like that. All right, let's maybe put the super groovy flowers in there. Oh my gosh, I keep bumping that. I'm so sorry. If you guys saw the small space I'm working in, it is quite ridiculous. It's a little tiny tin table that is probably two and a half feet by two and a half feet. And then we'll put the Eiffel Tower right here. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it is the Empire State Building. All right. Let's tuck that right in there. And we'll just snip that little top off. And nobody will know the difference. And then that kind of want to go underneath there a bit. Ooh. Got these delicate little feathers that I cut out. All right, let's get them in there. I don't know if I want something to go underneath these feathers, so I better not actually tack those down. There's my little needle. The rest of it will go down. Okay. And let's see where we're going to put the E. I'm not 100% sure I really want these eggs, but let's just see if I cut the eggs right here. Yeah. They don't look too bad down there. Maybe I could work this E up here. Kind of getting cornered in. Maybe like that. And I'll just cut that bottom part off.
the um, fun part about this is, you know, it's not really any major decisions like, so what if it doesn't really turn out fabulous? It's just glue therapy. And as long as I'm having a good time, that's all I care about right now. This is like so relaxing, you guys. I feel like, like my voice is even like more relaxed. So this would be a good one to watch as you're going to bed. <laughs> you probably fall asleep to, to my voice. It's so funny. I was talking to someone else. It was Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. And we were talking about different YouTubers and um, saying which ones that we love to fall asleep to. And it's not because their content is not exciting because I love the person that I listen to and fall asleep to. It's just, I guess, soothing or relaxing. I don't know. But I can seriously put on her video and I'll probably have it on like three minutes and I'm out, completely out. I have to go back and watch it like the next day during the day. <laughs> do you guys, does anybody else do that? Is there a certain person that you listen to that you always fall asleep to? Okay, this one is eyeglass, you know, uh, eyes or eyeglasses, but it's just by itself and way too random. So I'll keep this for another collage. It'll go in my itty bitty image pile. All right, I, I do like that one. I think it turned out good. I, I'll add something else, obviously, up here underneath these feathers. All right, so we'll move on to another letter. I don't think I have anything else in F right now. I keep looking for stuff. Let's go to something we haven't gone to yet. Okay, let's see if I have anything for G. Man, I have this whole huge page for G, for G and I don't know if I'm going to find that many images. I guess I will. Let's see. What do I have in here for G? Oh, okay. I got a couple things. All right, one of them is Gizmo. I don't know if, if you're old enough to remember the Gremlins, but I absolutely loved Gizmo. In fact, I still have the um, my stuffed animal from when I was a kid. I just kept it. All right, so we've got that. We've got this cute little giraffe which needs some grooming here. Just take a little bit of this off. Which, if you're doing your glue book and you don't really feel like fussy cutting, don't fussy cut. Don't do it. I don't mind fussy cutting. In fact, I, I do enjoy it. A lot of times I will just sit and do that, whether I'm watching TV, YouTube, whatever. I don't really watch much TV. I watch way more YouTube than anything. That's cute. Okay, let's find some wallpaper to go behind this one. I do like that, but I don't know if I really want it behind the giraffe. But it might go just a little bit for green. We'll put it on this page here. We'll just give it a little rip. And around this corner here. I got the nicest comment from somebody. Um, she said it was like, when she watched my videos, it was like hanging out with a friend, having coffee. I was like, oh my gosh, that is the sweetest thing ever. And then I said, well, it's a one-sided conversation. <laughs> and um, we were talking about maybe doing a live, and I really want to do that. 
I think that would be fun because that way I can kind of interact with you guys as I'm doing this. I think this project would be a really great one for it. And let's put a little bit on this side. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just going to, you know, try not to make these too long when I'm doing it. We'll just, I'll just keep doing little episodes and then uh, occasionally pop in maybe with a live. If you've got a glue book, maybe you can uh, glue along with me. And I can also put like a notification for when I'm going to do it that way. If you do want to craft along, you will have some notice to get your stuff together. Just jumping in here, I just wanted to say make sure that you put the notification bell on when you subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get notification when I do go live. Gizmo, where are you going to go here, dude? Up here? In the corner, maybe? Gizmo loves you. Do any of you guys have like a stuffed animal from your childhood <laughs> or when you were younger? I'm going to stop right here because I want to find a few more G's. Let me put this back in here. Well, I have iris, but that's not very exciting. Yeah, let's do L. I've got this light, it's really chandelier, but I liked that. So let's see if we can work this in somehow. I'm just going to cut it a little bit because I don't want to cover up all that lace. So by the time I get this video up, um, my friend Beth that I was referring to from uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pity Pretties, she um, came to visit me here in Mexico and she's a, she actually did a vlog. So if you want to see more of the area here where I'm at, I will, if it is up, Look in the description and I will put the um, link below. We did a lot of running around, a lot of eating <laughs> and laughing. Like it was a good, good visit. Put that up there. And let's see, I have a ladybug and a lemon. That's M, a macaroon, and a man, and a ladybug, and a mouse. Okay, so very random. <laughs> okay, let's get that down. And I like that you can go, well, it doesn't, I have too many C's already for chandelier, so we're gonna put this under light. <laughs> And lemon. Let's see if I can get this edge up a little bit here. Again, I get to this point and I go, wow, what if I find something really good? And I've already got this silly lemon right there. I guess I could cover it up. All right, let's wait on that so the L's go back in. I'm going to go to the very back because there's a, I have a zebra that I want to put in here. I 
and we'll just cut that extra part off. So remember to subscribe because, and you know what? Check to make sure you are still subscribed. A lot of people are saying that they go back and look and they're not subscribed to their people that they, they are, like YouTube has knocked them out. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but you might wanna check some of your favorite channels and make sure that they are still in your subscriptions. Very weird. Has anybody had that happen to them where they um, all of a sudden their subscriptions are not there? Or if you have a channel, have you noticed that all of a sudden your um, people will drop? Like you'll have X amount and then you go back in there and you'll have like 10 less. That um, hasn't happened to me, but I'm such a small channel. But I know that um, there have been people that have bigger channels that all of a sudden they've lost 30 people. Very weird. Okay, so I feel like we've done, let's see. Yeah, I think I wanna stop now just because of the amount of time. But thanks for joining me on the Alphabet Journal and I will catch you next time. Bye.